Awesome. Welcome, everybody, to Bricks Cat Unplugged. I'm Don Strimbu. I do communications for BricsCAD. What does that mean? It means I get to talk to cool people like you and have cool people like Matt and Heidi with me. Mr. Olding, introduce yourself to our guests. Hello, I'm Matt Olding. I work for Brixis. I'm part of the learning and educational department. Heidi? I'm Heidi Hewitt. I'm the user success manager at Brixis. Yeah, Heidi Hewitt. Is this cool? She's on with us today. <laughs> so what we're doing, guys, we figured that we have to tell our story in a way that helps people understand the real value behind Brixis and BricsCAD. So, you know, we can do conventional marketing stuff. And Heidi has done some amazing blog posts. She's going to talk to you about Matt's put together some phenomenal training content. But in reality, People buy from people they like, and we want to sell you BricsCAD, so we want you to like us. So we're doing this. It's going to be awesome, guys. And, and as we evolve this show weekly over time, we're going to invite a bunch of people to come and visit and talk to you about their BricsCAD experiences, um, talk to you about why BricsCADs change the way that they do business, and most of all, we want to have fun. So with that, Matt... Talk to me about your ideas for, for BricsCAD Unplugged. Well, BricsCAD Unplugged, imagine this. Every week, we're going to come to you live, and uh, we're going to do probably, you know, maybe the longest 15 minutes, but yeah. we're going to have special topics, talk about the product, what the product's about, talk about how to do basic things like support. You know, how do I get support off of this product and everything? And then plus two have special guests such as, you know, like some of our third party uh, applications from, from civil engineering, from piping and so forth. And uh, yeah. So Heidi, your thoughts? Oh, I'm really excited about doing this. I think we have so much to share. There's so much information out there. And I think a lot of our viewers don't know about it yet. Yeah. So I'm excited to have the opportunity to educate them on what education um, resources that are available. Yeah, I think that's a really key element, Heidi, is the fact that there's so much content that's available around BricsCAD, migrating to BricsCAD from other CAD systems, compatibility of BricsCAD with 2018 drawing and all the other things, right? And, you know, sometimes it, there's too much content. There's just too much and, and people don't have time to really assimilate it all, right? And how do you navigate data. through it all? Yeah, navigate through it all. Yeah, so, so making it easier for people to you know, find out the gist of what it is that we do and get them excited about trying BricsCAD because everybody can try BricsCAD for 30 days for free. And, and uh, we'll talk more about that. But I think maybe- So Don, why BricsCAD? I, that's my question is, mm. why BricsCAD? Well, let's see, Matt. I think maybe I've got a little presentation here I can deliver. Let me switch. Screen. I hope it's that long. No, no, it's going to be, I've got my stopwatch, <laughs> my stopwatch is running, so oh. it's not going to be too long. Uh, here's my slide. I want to start the slideshow from the current slide, and it's going to be on that screen, and I'm going to share my screen with you guys. All right, there it is, and let's hit share. All right, so the value proposition for BricsCAD. Okay, I also, I wanna, okay cool. Here we go. So number one, first thing. Oops, nope, that's not it. That's the wrong slide. But hey, while we're here, let's talk about this. Did you know that BricsCAD comes as a perpetual license? Buy it once, pay for it once. Gee, that's refreshing. <laughs> no for subscription, although we do have a maintenance program called All In that's really interesting. And if you buy BricsCAD, you'll probably want to buy All In simply because you'll want the next release, right? Every release of BricsCAD adds great new features and new performance. Ease of use, ease of migration from existing CAD packages. We'll talk a lot more about that in the future. But which way does this wheel roll now? That way. Look at this. I love it. When that <laughs> it's, it's falling down. It's falling here's, down. Here's the value prop, guys. We're on it. Number one, BricsCAD is cost effective. It's less expensive than other CAD programs. Does that mean it's not as good? No, not at all. It means it was designed and built in a more agile environment. In fact, BricsCAD runs on three different platforms, Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. 
Uh -huh. Already interested? Yes, I know you are. Perpetual and network licenses, guys. So we have all of the licensing schemes that you might want, including network license servers, license service across a WAN, perpetual licenses that are based on a specific PC. Or if you want, we'll be glad to rent your Bricks CAD too. So we can make it easy for you to own the product and have the CAD solutions. Short learning curve. If you know the other CAD product, you already know Bricks CAD and you can be productive in a day or less. I can attest to that. Me too, me too. There you go. See, I mean, this is, for me, it's like I'm getting old, guys. I love learning. Learning's important. Learning is, but, but I don't have the time to learn. I just have to get my stuff done. What if I had a CAD product where I didn't have to relearn how it works to be successful? That's Bricks CAD. Small footprint, 310 meg installer, I think. Believe it or not, it's all in there. And very performance focused. I mean, we see this all the time. I was just talking to the guys from, from Hexagon PPM, uh, the makers of CADWorks which has now been ported to BricsCAD. And by the way, CADWorks runs beautifully on BricsCAD. Performance is spectacular, and they're always commenting about that. Uh, I mean, this is, this is the, the kind of environment we wanna build, and the kind of tool that we wanna promote for our customers is, is one that is not only cost effective and does the job, but one that actually performs better. One more slide. Let's talk about the value proposition in terms of Bricks CAD itself and where it comes from. Modern code, how modern is modern? Well, we've heard some people say, hey, this other product's been around for 35 years. Well, you know, Bricks CAD's been around for almost 20, but the code has been completely refactored in the last decade. And, and it's fast. Is, it's fast, and the idea is, and sorry, Matt, you're over here on this screen. Can I move you over here so I can see you? Oh yeah, look at this. Now I feel like I'm actually looking at you guys while I'm talking. It's so much better than doing that. Anyway, cool. Sorry, I'm old. The technology, I'll get it before too much longer, I promise. Modern, modern code. Also, superior memory utilization. What do I mean? I mean, BricsCAD will run effectively on less than ideal computers. And we've seen this sometimes to the extreme. Uh, it runs great on a four gigabyte laptop running Windows XP, but don't tell anybody because we're not supporting it there. But it does run if you really feel compelled. I don't know why you would. Where's my cursor? Here we are. Next, superior graphics and visualization. Super important. We use <clears throat> excuse me, Redway 3D as our graphics engine. So we take full advantage of today's graphics coprocessors and we can really crank out polygons fast, man. It, they scream. It's awesome. Advanced multi-threading. Most nice. CAD work, yeah, most CAD stuff is very, very linear. It's, it's hard to do CAD as a multi-threaded app. We leverage multi-threading where it works, and it gives us a lot better performance on drawing loads and saves and things like renderings. 100% API compatible with that other CAD product, both Lisp and the compiled environments, the XRX. Uh, they call it ARX, we call it BRX, but 100% code compatible. And finally, 2018 drawing compatible, the native file format of BricsCAD is DWG, guys. It's native. Just open up your DWGs and they work. Just open. People say, how do I import a drawing into BricsCAD? You open, open it. Open it. Yeah. Open I, it like I, you I, normally would. I was asked that just this morning, yeah. Don, and had to emphasize, no, DWG is our file format. And yeah. yes, you can open AutoCAD and other drawings right there in, in BricsCAD. Exactly. Heidi, this is a great time to transition over <laughs> to talk about your journey. So, so tell us about your blog posts and, and about the last five months of your life and what that's been like learning BricsCAD. Yeah, I would love to do that. And actually, if you can stop sharing your screen, then <laughs> yeah. not. I pass it over, Don. Give me it back. <laughs> there you go. Okay. So uh, let's see. Share my screen. Um, okay. Hopefully, you can see that. Yep, we can mm -hmm. see you. So yeah, you're talking about my journey there, Don. Well, I started here. I've only been with BricsCAD. Only been using BricsCAD um, for four, four months, five months, almost now. And um, after many years, three decades using AutoCAD, and I have just 
just kind of jumped in and started using it. And I'm just thoroughly impressed on how I was able to immediately move over to BricsCAD. Like we were talking about DWG files, I could open my drawings in BricsCAD. I could use the commands and the aliases, everything as I had been doing for all these decades in AutoCAD. And I've documented my journey along the way. And if you go up to the Brixis blog, blog.brixis.com, you can actually see my posts. If you go to Heidi's blog, any of these links here that go to Heidi's blog, um, our, our viewers can see everything that I've posted so far, all the way back. I've got 30 posts going all the way back to my very first impressions with BricsCAD and um, stepping through as I did the download and install of the trial and then trying the different tools, the drawing objects, uh, exploring things that are unique to BricsCAD, and just applying my existing knowledge as I worked my way through. And some of my favorite posts, I just have to point out back up here, as I got to the more advanced functionality, 3D rendering materials, I had so much fun modeling my, my home from scratch all the way up through all the 3D modeling and applying rendering. And right now I'm working on a post for lighting so just having a blast with this, it's been great. And Heidi, my recommendation for everybody is read your first blog post. I think if you just go to that first one, bring that up. That one is, uh, yeah, yeah, your first impression. To me, folks, you, you need to read this one. Uh, it, it really is a good eye opener and everything. And uh, it made me believe in the product even more uh, after being here for, for over a year and stuff. Yeah, thanks for pointing that out, Matt. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I have been a dedicated dedicated user of AutoCAD for many years and um, just didn't think anything else could, could compare, but I was truly amazed coming into BricsCAD and BricsSys and opening up the software and using it, just really using it, very impressed. Awesome. So, loving it, having a cool, great time. Cool, cool. Well, now I can figure out how to stop sharing. Yeah, you got to stop sharing and I'll take over now, Heidi. Okay. All right. <laughs> well, here, I'm going to go share my desktop. And, uh, and hey, folks, just uh, my story really fast with uh, being part of Brixis and BricsCAD. It was over a year ago. My buddy Don here on the screen gave me a call, shoot me an email, said, download this product and tell me what you think. And I'm like, okay, what is it? Never even heard of the product, actually. I felt bad. But, uh, but now I'm working with Brixis, and it's just been a delight in uh, the company and the product. The product is rock on solid. Uh, so if you're doing any type of CAD work, please move over and, or give it a try at least. Uh, but now, so what I'm going to show off, go to our YouTube website. You want to learn more about the product and especially moving over from another CAD product, go into Brick's CAD customization playlist. In here, we have over, I can't remember off the top of my head, I think there's, in this playlist, there is basically 21 uh, playlists or videos to watch about how to customize uh, the settings inside of Brick's CAD or customizing it to the way you like to work from your display settings, to user profiles, to just the variables alone inside of Brick's CAD. And, uh, and so that's one playlist. Another playlist that I recommend, if you want to know more about our BIM product, go to BricsCAD BIM. Lots of fun ones in here to take advantage of. And I think there's 30 of them or over 30 of them here, 36 videos to watch. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, and so go take, a, uh, go take advantage of these if you want to learn more about our BIM product. And we're going to talk more about the BIM product here in the next couple of weeks. And we'll go demo it. More in depth. Yeah, we're definitely going to demo it in the next couple of weeks or so. So basically, go to our YouTube channel, and like my teenager, my 16-year-old, you know, this is where all the young people learn nowadays is just by short, quick videos, and we have them available for you guys. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing, and we'll hey, go back to our people, Old people actually enjoy short, quick videos. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that yes. lets us get our work done faster so we can go out and do fun stuff, right? Yes. Or drink beer or whatever. I mean, it's do whatever you enjoy life right? So have a CAD product that is compatible and easy to use and less expensive so that you have more time and more money to do fun things that you want to do with your life. That's what we're all about at Brixis. I think as we move forward, you're going to learn more about our company and our DNA and why we do what we do. And hopefully this will help you guys uh, want to be a part of the Brixis family. So Brickscat Unplugged, 
weekly sessions, at least the three of us, at least. I mean, come on. Uh, plus, who well, knows Lord. who else might show up? I mean, there are a bunch of people who, if, in fact, someone's probably knocking at my door now. Saying, How <laughs> I do think we I get hear on Rick's Cat Unplugged? Well, it's easy. All you have to do is send us an email. And if you want to come on and talk about your experience with BricsCAD, we'd love to have you join us. Call to action. I will say you need to download BricsCAD and you need to like us and follow us on Twitter. Heidi, what do you think people should do? Well, not just download BricsCAD. You need to try it. You get it 30 days for free. Don't just download it and leave it there. You really have to try it because I know if you jump in there, you start using it just the way you're used to using your other CAD product, I know you're going to like it and you're going to see how easy it is. Yeah. So, yeah, try yeah. it. And yeah. like you said, like on Twitter, also like on Facebook. Like yeah. On yeah, yeah, yeah. Just and follow YouTube. us on Twitter. Like us on FB, right? Matt. What? And you guys, next week topic is all about our three editions. So the classic, the pro, and the platinum. We're going to explain those in detail to you next week. And so that's, if you want to learn more about that, tune in. And Okay. And uh, with that, you guys. If you want to learn more about it, tune in anyway. Because <laughs> yes. we're fun. Because we're fun. <laughs> you're going to love hanging out with us. Cool. Okay. Well, hey, with that, we're all going to say goodbye. Cheers, man. Bye. Cheers. Cheers. See you guys.